Everyone seems to be more on edge, and political tribalism is at a dangerous point. But there is a simple solution that can make all sides reasonably happy while protecting different thinking and views. It's decentralized governance, or federalism. This country was supposed to be a, about the home of the brave and the land of the free. Yet everything is dictated by DC. How did it get this way? Basically, political leaders cheated and built a system of influence to benefit a tiny few based on donations and block voting where everyone always votes the exact same and anyone who steps out of line, be a Democrat or Republican, gets punished or removed. A super centralized and undemocratic system. The exact thing America was designed to solve. The solution is to make a new political party based on independent thinking an independent party. So far, the main challenge to independence, taking on the two-party system and breaking up the oligarchy in DC has been the wide diversity of American views. It's like herding cats, but we can turn that weakness into a strength with a new federalist approach to the party design. A system built on everyone agreeing will always be bad, it, as it requires a lot of corruption and coercion of those who disagree. Instead, an independent party can be based on bringing together those who disagree and getting them to work as a team. That's the whole point of the American experiment. If we want America to work, we need to remember the basics of a good experiment. Approach problems with an open mind. Don't pretend to have all the answers until you actually do. And when you find something that works, you share it with everyone to see if they can't repeat your results and scale up good solutions. This is the marketplace of ideas, the highest goal of America in public policy, that competition among free citizens and not a government censor will guide us. This can help solve complex racial, social, and economic problems by appointing the people who are experiencing the problem directly to the leadership role. That is what America is supposed to be doing right now, but they never do because of money and corruption and hundreds of years of a two-party rule. Only local leaders who mimic DC and take dark money and pose for cameras end up leading basically bad actors in more ways than one. What this leads to is a system where new thinking is discouraged and new solutions are impossible. This solution, an independent party, like we have in Oregon, can work. If we don't take dirty money and we don't tell people how to live, it's a simple but powerful idea. This is the path forward. As independents, we can unite as a team of individuals standing together for America.